Okay, so in this video we're going to start talking about how to convert fractions into decimals. Now, um, effectively a fraction would be something like, let's say, one eighth. And what we want to do is to convert that into a decimal. It could be useful. Um, there are occasions where it's useful to be able to um, be able to convert between the two. Let's say for things like money or volume questions or percentages or something like that. So, in other words, this 1 over 8, which is a fraction, is exactly the same as writing 1 divided by 8, which is the same as using short division in order to calculate how many lots of 8 there are in 1. However, I know that there aren't any lots of 8 in 1, so therefore I'm going to put a couple of decimal places there in order to help me with my calculation. And if you look at some of the other videos that will tell you how to do short division and also why it's important to have these extra decimal places in place on the calculation. So the first question is how many lots of 8 are there in 1? Well there's none and I'm going to pass that one over to the next place. How many lots of 8 are there in 10? Well there's one and I have two left over. How many lots of 8 are there in 20? Well, there's 2, which is 16. And there is 4 left over. How many lots of 8 are there in 40? Well, there's 5. OK. So, in other words, the direct decimal equivalent of 1 8 is exactly 0 0.125. So, it's the same. OK. What that means is, is that we can either use this then to, let's say we need to calculate 3 eighths. Well, if it was 3 eighths, it's the same as saying 0.125 times 3. So if I wanted to, I could do a short multiplication, which I'll just do very quickly at the side, as 0.125 times 3. So 3 times 5 is 15, 1 to carry, 3 2 is a 6, plus 1 is 7, 3 1 is a 3. So the decimal equivalent of 3 eighths is 0 0.375. So what I've done is I've said, well actually that 0 0.125 is the same as 1 eighth. And if I multiply 1 eighth by 3, I'm going to get 3 eighths. So the answer is 0 0.375. So that's a way that you could do it. However, if we go back to our original idea, which is to say that 3 eighths is the same as 3 divided by 8, which is the same as writing it as short division. In other words, how many lots of 8 are there in 3? Well, 8 into 3 doesn't go, but I've still got the 3, so I'm going to pass it on. 8 into 30 goes 3, which is 24, and I've got 6 left over. 8 into 60 goes 7, because 7 times 8 is 56, and I've got 4 left over. 8 into 40 goes 5. OK. 0.375 or 0.375. So in other words, to calculate from a fraction to a decimal, I need to recognise that this line really means division, and then I can rewrite it as a short division. The same goes really for long division and for larger fractions. And if you look at the next video, that will tell you a little bit more about how to convert larger fractions to decimals.